I desire to please God for the rest of my life. Amen. And I, des I have recommitted my life. I am doing that every day to God as a living sacrifice. That I will serve him for the rest of my life and that I will finish well. It's not easy for me to stand here after I just buried my mother. But I just want to tell you, Bazalwani, that we have seen the, the love of God through you. You have made us to be able to mourn with grace. And your presence and your prayers have really comforted us and healed us. Thank you for your love. And thank you for your support. I thought maybe I need some time out, you know, to mourn my mom and and come back and be strong. But I felt at the same time we mourn differently. Some people laugh when they are mourning. You think that they are really happy, but they are bleeding inside. Some people they cry. Some people they sleep. But I find comfort when I serve. And I felt God help me to use my pain for your glory. Because Mother's Day is a very special day. And today I know why. I know the feelings of celebrating Mother's Day without a mother. And I, I sympathize with those who are not having the mothers. But I want to say to us, to all of us, that there is hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. That we as children of God, we do not cry like people of the world. Amen. We cry, but with an understanding that there is hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've been comforted. And in the world, Bazarani, all of us, we know that our time is short on earth. We are here and tomorrow we are gone. And it's very important that when God has given us life, we use it in a way that pleases God. And thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. We have felt your prayers. We have seen your love, your presence, everything that you have done, the condolences we want to say. May the Lord richly bless you and end with where you have taken. Amen. It's a new journey that we have started to travel without her, but we thank God for her life. We give thanks because she lived a life fully for the audience of one man. Amen. And that man is Jesus Christ. Amen. She ran her race and now she is in glory. My mother loved Jesus. She served God wholeheartedly. Amen. And sometimes when you see us serving God, even when we don't feel like coming to church, it's because we've been taught to serve God even when things are not going right. Amen. Even when we were sick, we've been taught, taught to go to church and Jesus will heal us at church. Amen. That's my mother. Amen. She painted a picture of Jesus to us as her children. We saw Jesus at home. We saw Jesus at home. She was the same person at home and also at church. She was not living double lives. And we thank God that we shared her life with the church and with the community. Sometimes we know how much a person had an impact in the life of people when they are gone. And my mother is one of them. She didn't have a formal education, training of a pastor, but she was a pastor at heart. She didn't have a training of an evangelist, but she understood that Tabayaka Fasinglena Gil Girate Jesu, Lu Tibisaba Jesu, Tabo, Ebonam, Humorena Jesu Christ. She went door to door just to serve and tell people about Jesus Christ. Amen. I remember her 
in a good way. Amen. And now and then as I preach, if I share some tears, uh, it's not the tears of sorrow. It's the tears of joy. Amen. It's the tears of celebrating her life. It's the tears of saying the legacy that she has given us. What am I going to do with that? When I looked at her work, during the week, some people coming at home to tell us how much they've been touched by her life. One of the guys came and said, I, we, we knew the guy as somebody who was not walking right in the community. We knew him as somebody who now and then when we saw the police cars chasing, he's, he's among the group. And when he said, Kuku shared the gospel with me, and now today I am a pastor from jail to becoming a pastor. Amen. That ministered to me. Amen. There was such there was such an anointing and the presence of God throughout the week. Amen. She said to us before she died, Manabaka, I pray and desire that my funeral will be a revival. Amen. I know that you will be crying, but I want you to go to the toilet. People saw me now and then going to the toilet. I'll go to the toilet and my sister-in-law will come after me and I'll just weep. Go to the toilet. She, she told me several times, you, especially you, go to the toilet, cry, cry, cry. Come back, wipe your tears and act like nothing is happening. And I felt like even when the coffin was going down, I felt like weeping and screaming, but I remembered her saying, don't cry like a fool, as if you don't know where I've gone. She prepared us. It was not easy for her to tell us all these things, but I know that God wanted us to hear her voice so that when things are happening during her time of her departure, relatives coming and telling us all these things, my mother already told us, you don't have to do those kind of things. And I remember one of my brothers in the Lord came and said, ah, now that your mother is gone, are they going to, because you are the last born, are they going to, you know that thing, are you going to wear that thing? What do you call it since paid mama? Borokwan, something like that. That's Peter with red and for the last ones, when, when, when your parents die. Ah. And I said, when my father died, people came and they said to my mom and they advised her, she's the last one she needed to wear Bulokwana. And my mother said, I mean, God gave her to me and if he wants to take care, let him, let him take care. But I'm not going to do things that I don't understand. And then I left. The people who said I'm not going to preach 12 years, they're gone. Some came and said, 21 years, she won't preach it. They are gone, I'm still standing. And, and I, I want to say, my mother was a woman of faith. Amen. And when that brother of mine said, so because you're the last born, you're going to wear that thing, I said, no. My mother said, we don't, we don't wear those things. And then if she refused when she was alive with my dad, it means even right now, Amen. I can still stand Amen. and know that my redeemer lives. Amen. I don't have to be afraid of anything. Amen. So Bazalani, Death is a gift from God and it's part of us. Mm -hmm. Those who depart, we feel the pain. But let me tell you, when they depart in Christ, they are in safe hands. Amen. They are in the hands of Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's my plea to all of us that die lihu labaluki. Amen. Amen. Let us desire to die death of the righteous. Amen. Because the Bible says God cares when the righteous are dying. Amen. Because the Bible says blessed are those who die in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because they are going home to rest. Amen. They are going home to rest. Amen. Because all of us, one of the preachers during the week said, we are working. And there comes a time when we must retire and rest. Amen. Even in the spiritual life. There comes a time where God will say, come home and rest. Amen. When, that come, when that time comes, you want to be a blessed, righteous man. Whom God will say, I like the, the death of the righteous. Amen. You want to hear God 
saying, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful to the little. Now come home. Tell your neighbor, don't make that mistake. Die death of the righteous. Die the death. Did I say it in English? The death of the what? Of the righteous. Because this world is not our home. We are just part passing. And uh, I want us today shortly to read Matthew 5, verse 14 to 16. If you have it, happy Mother's Day. If you have it, just... Can we stand for the reading of the word? Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. Yes. Like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No light, no one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Uh -huh. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless the reading of this word. Amen. We may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. The Bible says we are the light of the world. Amen. Amen. I thought let me bring different lights here today so that we can, we can see what the Bible speaks about. I so wish this one was also working, but it's fun. The Bible says we are what was that? We are the light of the world. But our light does not come from ourselves. Our light is coming from Christ, who is the light. He said, I am the light of the world. The Bible says there is no darkness in him. So Christ himself is the light. Amen. So now, he comes and he tells his disciples that you now, today, are the light. Because you now know me, the light, you are the light of the world. In other words, we are, we are the, the picture of Christ in the dark world today. Okay. Amen. Amen. When Jesus was saying to his disciples, you are the light of the world, he was saying to them, you are of who I am in the world today not tomorrow but today so today we are the light of the world there's this song that I like it says Famba Ekuwana Kaleni Famba Right? So, in other words, I want you to see these three dimensions. 
dimensions of light, that Jesus is expecting us as his children to be the light. You are the light of the world. The sun is the one that shines as a light to the world. So he says, a city on a hill cannot be uh, hidden. In other words, you are the light as a city on a hill that the community must see light through you. Amen. You are the light of the world like the sun that reflects Christ. You are the city on a hill that shines for the community. And you are a lamp in your household. Amen. You are through you. Amen. You are what? The light of the world. You are a city on a hill that can never be hidden. You are the lamp in your family that must shine for your family. Amen. So in other words, we are the carriers of God's light Amen. in this dying world. Amen. We are the carriers of God's light in the dark world. So we must never, ever, ever, ever be like a lamp or a light that is covered. Mm -hmm. But I was going to undercover the light. Go with him to an area undercover over. We can see. Number one, I'm going to get a little bit undercover. Let's try undercover. Hey, my mom did it undercover. Well, they, they are there, but they are not there. Hmm? It's like their light is there, but you cannot see it. Hmm? You see, at home, we have different lights. Hunali, those lights, like these ones, Hunali, those chandeliers lights. Ne? And all of the, all, and on the chandeliers, there are some little globes there that shines. And there's also the lights on the stoves and in the ovens. Hmm? I I I I want to Oh, I can't pull it like it. Go with my camera now. We will light your thing, your oven, or go to chandelier, or go. But but the Bible says you are the light. Amen. Wherever you are, you must shine. Amen. As a light, you must do what? Shine. There's this song that we used to sing. Uh, I go to the school. We used to sing the song that says. Yes. In that corner, you can still help 
someone as a study lamp to find Christ, to find their way. Never say, "Ya kuru na baba we, mudi mo orfile entertainment." Tibo na ba? Like what disco like? Baba chai ba kore. Baba wana mo. Lava na mo ni wato mo wachan. Ya bo ya mo. Manaki light. Ya bele ka lighted. Like wana kamu kane. Kina kore ifele ibonente ibonente ni mo le. Baba, 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 Don't say I'm a disco light. Where one of them? Even if you are acting like that, there's a light. Don't say I'm insignificant. Don't say I'm too loud. Whatever God has made you, let your light shine. Let your light shine. You see, Baba, my mother had no Bible train. I remember one day she took me for house to house. She used to like house to house visitation. And we went to the first house and she sat down, she greeted them, and she said, We are here to share the gospel with you. Do you allow us to share the gospel? And the family said yes. And she she opened John 3:16. She shared, she shared, she shared. She explained the love of God and she said to the family, do you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life? And then the mother and the son said yes. And they raised their hands and then she prayed for them and they accepted Jesus Christ. Amen. And I was still at, I think, uh, I was still small, maybe to better stand at five or from one then. I like, told King, no, get great, I can. I can stand at five, eight, eight from one. So we cannot push up to make a great man. So, so I was in that era, and then we, we went, and she used to walk like this. We went to the next house. She used to walk like this, in a way that all the grandchildren whom she raised, they would walk like this. <laughs> because they thought it a real walk. And when my mother was doing this, all of them, all the kids that she's raising, and my mom, she used to walk like this and then we would go to the next house. And then when we went to another house, when we got there, she said, uh, I, Daddy, I'm here to share the gospel with you, with my daughter. Do you allow us to share the gospel with you? They said, yes. She said, my daughter will share the gospel with you. <laughs> I'm like, hey. And she said, John 360. <laughs> she, she whispered, John 360. She was saying, do what I did yeah. in that house. Yeah. And I said, John 3 verse 16 says, Udim uratine le fasra kaka, awari mia le mroga, ya tutum arinosh, ole mange ma, yo abudumela, asi kene ala khe, ole ala le mupilo wo safedo, kene mwana na jesu, kene kisha kira nye. And they said, Kuku Patil, could you please come and pray for him? And Kuku said, Today I'm not feeling well, but 
Kumbuzela will come. Mm -hmm. And I went there. She was very sick. She was still young, very sick. I prayed for her. And I explained the gospel for her. And I said, God loves you. And she received Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. And I said, God is here to heal you. And then we prayed. And I cleaned for her and I went home. And tomorrow morning, there was a knock again. Kukupatet, Arukolit, Vishawal, Sisi Sorenso has passed away. I cried because I was still young. But my mother comforted me and said, What you did yesterday was most important than this. You led her to the Lord. She's in heaven. Maybe that knock was just God saying to us, we, she has few moments on earth. She needs somebody to tell her about Jesus Christ. Amen. You see, Pastor what we do for God is never in vain. Amen. I have learned servanthood at home. I have learned hospitality at home. I have learned to welcome everybody at home. And I tell you, from the Wednesday when we heard that my mother passed on, when we got home, there were people coming. Some of them, we did not know them. They were telling us, mm -hmm. and then they just sat on the tree. And we're like, hey, hey, I go. And my sister said, eh, hey, don't forget that our mother was a servant. Yeah. Whoever comes, we welcome them. They stay the way they want. They do, we serve them how my mother would have loved us to serve. Every Friday, we would see people coming to the bag, to the plastic gun. Go, 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 the young people say, Rita Kopana Hapa Teddy after church. Little little joy, I give that one, I was in a joy. I'm not telling stories. People Bata Kopana Hapa Ted. Kid it thirty one, young people Bata Kopana Hapa Ted. My mother was that person who was open for all. Let me tell you, Mazama, you are the light of all. Let your light shine. Amen. I want to talk this morning as a gift to the mothers to say, I'm not here to say where are we good at, where are we not good at. I'm here to encourage all of us to say, let your light shine. Amen. Your children are watching you. Amen. Some may be stubborn and not see, but one day they will see the light. Amen. Keep on lighting that, keep on shining at that corner. One day they will see the light. Whether you are alive or gone, they will see the light of Jesus Christ. I want to talk to the Hannas this morning who are saying, I've been praying and God, God is not answering my prayers. I've been praying for a child and nothing is happening. I'm saying to you, keep on lighting that light wherever you are. Don't be discouraged. God's denial it's not God's delay, it's not his denial. God is always right on time. When we read the Bible, the Bible says, Hannah, God closed Hannah's womb. Hannah was not barren. God did it so that his name would be glorified. Sometimes the pain that we go through is for the glory. Delay is not his denial. Amen. Even Sodom, whom the Bible says he was a barren, yeah. at the right time God gave him Isaac. Amen. Never ever give up. Amen. And even if I want to talk to the mothers this morning, that you know what? Even the single parents, I was raised by a widow, a single mother. She should have, she could have looked at us and said, Papa, I'm not going to give you a little bit of a 
But she stood with us. She saw the gift of God in us. Look at us today. Look at me today. I am preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. She did not look at what she did not have. She looked at what she had, Jesus. And then she appreciated us as his children. And she forcefully gave us Jesus. Women of God and men of God. I'm not talking to the women only. I'm saying to us, let your light shine. Amen. It doesn't matter where you are. Let your light shine. One day, one day something will happen. Don't say my light is insignificant. Don't say my light is too small. Don't say my light is, is, is. Some, some, of, some of you, God has given you this type of light that when it shines, the whole world can see. Amen. Don't, don't hide it. Let your light shine with education or without education. Look, I, 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 the, my tears throughout the funeral was that mama did not have the resources that I have today. She did not have the education that I have today. But look at what she has done. And my prayer was that God help me to do much better than what she has done. Because I feel like the bar is too high and I'm not going to... And my tears was like, God, I need your grace to help me do the best I know how with what my mother has given us. You see, Basama, you are the light of the world. Don't hide your light. Let your children see the light. Let your neighbors see the light. Let your colleagues see the light. And as a woman of God, no matter what you are and what you are going through, let your light keep shining. Amen. God sees whatever that you are going through. Amen. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your children. Even if they give you headache, don't give up on them. Keep on praying for them. Keep on loving them. I had, recently I had the story of a young man who was very famous. And he says, I chose the wrong group of people that I associated myself with. And then my mother kept on saying, my son, I didn't see you for the whole week. When I came back drunk and I, I came back drunk and I, my mother said, can I just have a moment with you? I said, no, what do you want? And please tell I'm back, you know? You know, you know our children when they are drunk? He says, at least I'm back. Don't see, you don't you see me? Hmm? I'm back. He says, I was doing those kind of things where I never listened to my mother. I never cared. And one time as I was going somewhere to, 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 uh, to, not eat, you know, to perform as a parking, an artist, yes. And he says, as I was sleeping in my hotel, early in the morning, I had a knock that says, please, there's a call, there's, a, there's an emergency at home. You need to call home. And I called home. She said, I called home and then my sister was crying and said, you need to come home. I can't tell you over the phone. He said, just say it. And he says, mama is no more. He said, there came a very big sorrow in my life. And says, as I went back home, I couldn't even come close to the coffin because I remembered how I treated my mother. I remembered how I disrespected my mother. And the, the agony, the pain was too much than losing her. I wished I could wake her up and say, I am so sorry. But that time was gone. You see, I, I'm also trying to help us as children and with our relationship with our parents to say never ever make that mistake your mother and your daddy they are your parents Amen. they have weaknesses they have whatever but do whatever you can to love them while they are still alive Amen. you see i am able to stand and preach because i loved my mother every time when i had to see i ran with eyes and kisses that at times she would want to speak too much. I, I now realize it now that when somebody is about to die, they don't like to talk too much. But I, I, I keep like, why don't she speak? Why don't 
she say much and she will open her eyes and she will say I love you manaka ke re nna ke la ba tar ke re ta ka moka then I will go and push you away at aponya mak then a bule mak ha le ra tona di mushiri bo aponya mak a go moe and and, and she, she, she just she was a woman of faith she understood that the, the, the things that you wanted me to give you i gave them to you now you will turn them to our mother jesus christ god is the one that will be able to take care of you going forward and you must be you must be willing to allow him to take care of you going forward Amen. so what, what what am i saying to us as i'm 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 giving a testimony of my mother's life at the same time i'm trying to say to all of us today is mother's day some of us would wish we could kiss them they are normal those who have mothers take them out kiss them tell them that they are special tell them that you love them tell them that thank you mama for giving life to me thank you for the sacrifices the love that you gave they are not perfect and some of you some of some of our mothers may have angered us it's time to let go it's time to let go they might have angered you but you cannot hold that grudge until when one day they will be they will be silent in the coffin you would wish you could wake them up <sighs> appreciate them and for those who doesn't have mothers like myself we have mothers we have mothers reach out extend your love to other mothers reach out don't say kichua na mungu dimu ngaona kichua na kisasa na chua na lisikela mpita chua na kina le mama kina le batwa di baba ngata ji god himself is our father he said he is the father to the fatherless and he is also he takes care of the orphans there's no orphan in jesus christ i don't know how i'm talking to amen let your light shine to the mothers who are, who are raising special kids let your light shine for that child amen love them don't say god why did you give me such a child love that child be there for them amen. and let god do the rest amen you see basalani there's something about god and motherhood that we must never take lightly and i'm here to encourage all the mothers in this mother's day that god cares about you god loves you and to all of us to say let's let 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 our light shine don't say people are not watching people are watching you your children are watching you your neighbors are watching you your colleagues are watching you your relatives are watching you be that light be that light that god can use in the dark world let us stand up Don't say Lord my light is too small my light is insignificant be that light wherever you are be the light and shine if you are at a globe in the oven there's a reason why there's a globe in the oven it's there to warm up the food don't say i'm insignificant if you are the study lamp don't say i'm insignificant Whatever God has given you with the season where you are at your workplace he has sent you as the light carrier as the light ambassador to reflect Jesus Christ so I want us to go and pray this morning and say God and re, 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 renew our love for God and say God help me to be the light that you desire in this dark world help me to be the light help me not to hide Let me not hide my light. Let me not disappear when I'm needed to do things for you God. Help me to be the light that you want me to be. I want us to go and pray and surrender to Jesus Christ this morning. And surrender to God. And Lord, I want to be a picture of Jesus Christ. I get back in my mind. I couldn't speak kole hona because ne upa ki de mochet. There was too much testimony of her life that my sister in law had to say 
I've heard what they said and they were not adding. Because sometimes they would talk about it, we're not going to add us to why. We add your carry mutone with my new tongue hole. I, I, did, I, I sat there and what they said is what I know about my mother in law. And I pray, Basar, that we will all say, Mudim, I don't want to hide my light. I, I want to be the light that when I am gone, people will give a testimony and say, We have seen Jesus in this woman. We have seen Jesus in that man. That's this song that I like. I know we don't know it, but we'll sing it one day. Uh, I've heard the, the woman say, singing it, they say, my mother loved it. It's in Melodia Tumero. It says, Hakibe Mukache, so I come up with it. Joakibe Joane Kayena, Yana Hulibunet. Asarani Basuku, Ki Arabella Kamil. And I pray that all of us will seek the heart of Jesus. Will seek the heart of Jesus and just be like him. I, I, I am sold out for Jesus. And I told God even this morning that I don't think I'll live any other way than living for you. I thank you for choosing my mom to choose, to choose, for choosing my mom and she chose Jesus for us. And today, even when she's gone, we have Jesus. We have Jesus. Ah, may your light shine. Let's close our eyes. Oh, to Jesus I surrender all to Him. Yeah.